today we're going to work on a project on my boat. We're going to replace the strap that holds your trolling motor down while you're traveling. So it keeps it from bouncing all over the place. All right, so as you can see, the trolling motor sits down and you should have a strap that's mounted to your boat that holds your trolling motor down so when you're going across the lake it's not shaking. As you can see there's a stainless steel bracket that holds your strap down. This is the old one. I'm just going to reuse it. I am going to take it out and I'm going to take this one out. On the uh, front of these boats you'll have a plate and under you'll have a, a place to mount things and underneath it'll have plywood in there or marine marine grade plywood when you get ready to mount this and you're going to push it through your strap like this to hold it down what we're going to do is we are not going to do that because over time that the waves are going to make they're going to be pulling against this strap and this edge of this metal is going to cut it so what we're going to do is we, we've cut a piece of inner tube, a piece of rubber inner tube. We're going to lay it in there, and we're going to put it under there so between our strap and the boat. That way, it won't cut our strap by uh, vibration won't cut our strap going down the lake. The second thing you want to look at when you put one of these in is you can place your screws in straight up and down, and all you have is the threads of your screws that are going to countersink into that uh, that plywood underneath and they are going to keep that thing from uh, the, the waves from jarring that loose. I would not put these in straight up and down. I would put these in at a slight angle. That way it's not just the threads that you're pulling against, it's actually the screw biting at an angle and makes it a lot harder to pull out. Okay, so how does one know or which direction, this, this way or this way, to place your strap? So what's going to happen is you've got your strap, and it's, it's a long strap, okay? It's going to go over the trolling motor. It's going to come down through this side once it's mounted, and it's going to come back on top of the trolling motor making a loop and hooking on to the velcro and you'll see the emblem at the top so that's how you know this thing is going to be placed with this thing at the right spot all right if you turn it over it won't work make sure that your velcro when it goes through this loop is face up. So what I've done is I've got my rubber spacer here that's going to protect my strap from getting cut. I've run my screw through it and all I'm doing is I'm just going to drill it through the rubber just like that. All right there gives me my my spacer and then my strap has two holes in it. I'm gonna put my strap the holes in my strap through it. Real simple. Okay. I'm going to put those in the holes that they're made for. And like I said, this one's at an angle. You want to make sure both of them are at a little bit of an angle and not straight up and down. This is going to hold my strap. My I can hit the hole. All right, got my strap on there, and now when it pulls against the waves, it's going to pull against this rubber, this rubber inner tube that I put in here and it won't cut my strap, so it ought to last a lot longer. Let's try it out. We may have to adjust it a time or two, but let's try it out. So you can watch me put my trolling motor down. Put my trolling motor down. All right, it clicked. I'm gonna put my strap over the top of my trolling motor, through the loop on the other side, and we'll show you that in a second. And we're gonna pull it up and over. And there it is. All right, guys, let me show you how it works on the other side. So you're going to take your strap over, and you're going to place, 
place it just through this buckle that's left out exposed on the other side. You're going to pull it and you're going to bind it back against itself and just put it and attach it on the Velcro. Now what I need to do is I'm going to have to, I might to adjust this so that this is, I have more Velcro holding it instead of just a little bit. I'll have a full six inches. I've now adjusted it. I made this a little bit longer. All right guys, so I'm adjusting, I'm adjusting my strap. Get my camera set here where you can see what I'm doing. I'm adjusting my strap. I want my logo right here to be right here on top. So I'm going to pull this just a little bit. And that gives me my, my length. I'm going to pull it up. There's my strap. That's all we have to do. Now, what you want to do is you want to secure this. So you'll run it back through your buckle, but that's where you've got it. That's where you needed to have it. Okay, guys, after you get your strap adjusted where you need it, what we're going to do is we're going to take the strap, the, the loose end, and we're just going to run it back through the buckle itself, and that way it won't slip after we get it where we want it. There you go, and that is all you have to do. All right, tie her down. I always put my trolling motor cable in there as well. And there we go. Good to go. Ready for another trip to the lake.